Hey guys, I'm back, WDC the Gamer, and today I am playing Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, I've been waiting to play this game for a while because I've been playing Hitman, the 2016 game. Uh, as you probably know if you uh, have been paying attention to my channel. But that game really didn't hit the spot for me. Not like this game will. And I know it will because I've played uh, up to the point where you get to Siberia. But recently I had some computer issues so unfortunately I had to start all the way back. But I was going to do that anyway for you guys so I can do a complete let's play of this particular game. And um, yeah I can't wait to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and start now. Oh, but before I do that, i got to say, you might see me dip into the options and turn off the NVIDIA Pure Hair, Pure Hair uh, feature. Because that is a NVIDIA feature, and I am an AMD user. Specifically the AMD R9 290 graphics card. So, yeah, those... NVIDIA and AMD do not get along. Obviously, they're competitors. And AMD does not even bother trying to make it work with the pure hair. Which is fine. I can play without it. Not a big deal. I'm going to try to play with it on, though. So, hopefully that doesn't hurt my frame rates that badly. But I predict that it probably will. So, let's get the show on the road, shall we? And here I'm just uh, restarting basically because I've been playing and I've been testing my FPS. Not with pure hair on, but this was a little while ago. Alright, so. I'm actually going to play on Adventurer because I am a noob and I can't help that, so. It is what it is. I think these basically, when you put it on adventurer difficulty, it comes down to you make someone reach beyond the basically one-shotting to face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. I've actually never seen this particular cutscene or cinematic, whatever it is. No, it's a cutscene, it's in game. Beautiful graphics. The others! Though. They're done! No amount of money is gonna get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. I find it strange. You should stay here with them. How the cutscenes are locked in at third, 30 FPS. It's a little low. When other cutscenes in this game I've noticed are locked in at 60 FPS. A little bit strange. I'm not too sure how that works out. You're almost there. Wait till you see this view, Lara! Take my hand! Thanks! Look at that! It's amazing! But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right. So as you can see, Let's take it easy here. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is really well optimized at this point. This wind is crazy. We just need to keep moving. It basically maintains a you know, hey, even 50, if we don't find anything up here, your dad FPS would be limit. proud. I know, but I have a good feeling FPS about this. Being my limit. Sorry about talking over some of these guys. Shit! You okay? Lost my footing. This is I'm more fine. of a benchmark for me right now. 
this is the very first time I'm using. It's the very first time I'm using OBS, Open Broadcast Software. So I'm just kind of testing out how it's going to affect my uh, playing experience, and I, I really don't think it will. I seen it. I seen it drop just past. Are you sure? Uh, 50 Just FPS so far, but otherwise it seems pretty well maintained at, at you know 58 to 60, which is pretty typical of when I played it with uh, AMD Relot or Relive. That maintained a constant 60. Uh, OBS is a little more demanding, so you know I, I can appreciate that. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. If you've been watching my uh, Hitman's Let's Play series, you probably noticed that I have a lot of cats meowing. It's because it is, uh... It's the season when the moon is, uh... Changing its lunar cycles, and that gets cats going crazy. I need to jump across! So yeah, we'll, we'll have to deal okay. with that. Shit, Laura. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, like I was saying, I am super Looks pumped like to play this. Through. I played up to uh, Siberia if when we get into Siberia. Do you really think we'll find this lost city? I know it's a long that. shot, but that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. Well, I guess I if I was going to hide a lost city, this might be the kind of godforsaken place that I'd do it. I really enjoyed my uh, previous play experience of this. So, yeah. I'm just gonna repeat myself and say I that I am Trinity has a us to it. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should Look be enough time. Visuals. We're almost to the top. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just as last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. <sighs> see, this pretty solid, particular cutscene is locked in at 60 okay. FPS. I don't understand that for the life of me. When the other ones were locked, where other ones are locked in at 30. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. So I love these whole sequences here where you're climbing up these ice walls. It really shows Let's off the game. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Look out! Oh shit! That was close. I'm playing on the DS4, by the way. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Shit! I'm going to dig in. Can you make it across? I can make it! The DS4 is the uh, PlayStation 4 controller, but otherwise I am playing on the PC. 
Holy shit! I don't think I can make that jump! Stay there! I'll anchor a line for you at the top! Alright, I'll give you some slack! Almost there, Lara! You got it! Nothing like a winter thunderstorm. That's not good. First time I did that jump about a month ago when I was playing this, I messed up so many times. See, this uh, cutscene is locked in at 30 FPS. If you could look up in the top left of my screen, it's very strange. But I'm nitpicking, I suppose. It is the greatest cruelty of life, that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. Joan of Arc and Rasputin. The key to unlocking everlasting Enough lives. Birds. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, Jesus. watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. 
An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. The Trinity uh, people are definitely the Catholic Church. Only makes sense. And uh, the side I'm on must be like Jehovah's Witnesses, which are like, you know, don't... Uh, don't appreciate that Trinity stuff too much. Yeah, or the Freemasons. <laughs> Maybe I'm a Freemason. I guess I'd be in the Order of the Eastern Star because I'm a woman and women are not allowed in Freemasonry proper. The gutter press was attacking you again. I thought the you gutter could use press. some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was unwell. No, he was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb, This is a particularly beautiful piece of the game right here, Syria. And I'm not a fan of deserts either. So hey, if it impresses me, it should impress into you. We're heading a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you! You both! Damn! This room! Shit! They weren't supposed to shoot at us! Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! No, no, no! Well, I arrived at least. But I did not arrive safely. Clear the shots.
No turning back. It has to be you. Alright, so this is where I will leave off for uh, this particular segment of my Rise of the Tomb Raider Let's Play. Let's leave you with a beautiful view here. Alright guys, take care. Until next time, peace.